foreign student. It was very fun, very, very fun. Because every day, all four years that I spent in China, I was explaining to Chinese people that I am not Chinese. <laughs> and Kazakhstan is neighboring country bordering west of China. And also, when I came for, uh, for holidays to Kazakhstan, I also was explaining to Kazakh people that we don't eat insects in China. <laughs> I don't know why some Kazakhs, Kazakh people think if you live in China, you eat insects. Yes, there are a lot of like uh, exotic foods, uh, like uh, insects on the street, like a street food, but I've never seen that Chinese people were buying or eating that, that insects. And I saw only, I've seen only foreign tourists who were buying and eating it, <laughs> but no Chinese, you know? Yes, at the beginning it's really difficult to get used to food uh, in another country, uh, which uh, food is totally different from the food of your country, right? When you are young and it's uh, when you, you never had the experience of uh, foreign students before, it's really difficult. So once we've ordered one food called tapanji, actually it's Uyghurian food, and tapanji is the mix of chicken and potatoes. And when waiter served us this food, my eyes were like this. <laughs> because I saw on that food head of chicken and feet of chicken. And for me, it was like, oh my god, what's the strangest food? How are we going to eat that? Chicken head and feet. For me, that time, it was normal to eat <laughs> to eat this kind of meal, but chicken feet and head, no way. So, yes, um, China is the country full of exotic things, and but food of uh, food in China was not the most shocked thing in my student life there. The most shocked thing was before I I've arrived to China. It was on my way to China on a plane. My friend who was sitting next to me started laughing. When I asked her, why are you laughing? What happened? She pointed me one baby, Chinese baby, and I was really shocked because you never guess what I saw there. I saw a Chinese baby wearing this kind of pants. <laughs> it's a famous pants, open crotch pants in China. On the street, almost everywhere, almost every baby wearing this kind of uh, pants there. And I don't know why people in China, like parents of these babies uh, buying this kind of pants. Till now I didn't find the answer of this question. Uh, it's a culture. <laughs> and um, also, despite of um, lifestyle uh, style of China, Chinese uh, culture of conversation in China is also very interesting. Uh, I've studied language before uh, I went. I went to China, but when I arrived to there, I found out that I don't know a lot of things about the culture of conversation of Chinese people. And I, I had a classmate there. He's from Korea. And he was older than me for 10 years. And he lived for a long time in China at that time. And when I met him uh, in dorm or in the, somewhere in school, Every day he asked me one question. Have you eaten? <laughs> and this question was a bit strange for me. I, I, I almost thought that why he's asking me this question? Maybe he wants to invite me somewhere like this for dinner. <laughs> Maybe he likes me. I really thought like that. But after some time, I found out that if people, Chinese people ask you, have you eaten? 
it means Hawaii, just Hawaii. <laughs> so if you go to China, if Chinese people ask you this question, don't think that they are going to ask, uh, yeah, invite you to for dinner or lunch, something like that. Yes, uh, we all are different and we have different culture. We have, uh, we speak in different languages. Uh, and don't get me uh, so wrong because I just wanted to share my experience of uh, foreign student life. Sometimes, we, because sometimes we miss our student years, and I also miss my life in China. Like as, uh, as a uh, foreign student, I miss my classmates, my university, uh, crowd of people on the street. But, but I'm sure that I'm I don't miss being asked one question: Are you Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.